still taking notes on how bad or good it is. Um, so don't tell me if it's good, just tell me what was wrong with it. You know? <laughs> All right, so it's called uh, a recursion, right? <laughs> We're parallel mirrors showing us, showing us, showing infinite us as we dissolve back behind each other's eyes. Our lenses reflect our lenses upside down reflections that invert as they invert as they shrink inside each other so I'm lost in your eyes and head over heels. I go into you a thousand times and multiply me in you in me a regress so each molecule of mine is you in miniature and I am the atoms that make up those till we blur indivisible. Mm. Right. And this is my favorite love poem. Um, it's by Tim Siebels. Um, and I printed it really small, so I'm just going to do this. Um, it's called The Groom for Jim Escher and Jane Finn, whoever those people are. Right. When I far first saw you, I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to touch your shoulder. I noticed how the day had gone dark with clouds, and I noticed your eyes darker still, and when I saw you, I wanted to tell you something about a feeling I had about you or possibly because of you, how when I looked to where you stood talking, my skin tried to walk away from my bones toward you, how my bones wanted to go along. When I saw you glance over, grinning from your conversation, I noticed your mouth, the cranberry red of your lips, and I thought, a kiss, I thought maybe if I could balance myself against your lips for a while, I could keep from falling. I thought if you let me kiss you sometime, I would be happier. I might even be a better person. When I saw you throw your head back laughing, both hands squeezing your hips, I thought about your body, not something sexual necessarily, nothing necessarily concerning sex, the way some thoughts sometimes do, but about my hands landing somewhere around your knees softly as though having just parachuted from the sky just above them. I thought about just walking over and saying, come hither, curly-haired maiden. The city in my brain is burning and the people there cry out for your mercy. <laughs> I didn't know what you would think of me. How do we ever cover the ground between wanting and having, between one nervous solitude and another? I didn't know. I still don't know. I just wanted to ask you your name. I wanted to tell you that your eyes were very brown, that your eyes, that some evening I would like to walk into them and take you with me. 